Okie dokie. Well, morning, everybody. And, well, I need to sketch in a little bit of backstory on this. Um, I was, uh, for uh, yesterday's cast video, um, or short, or short for podcast video that I was wanting to make, um, I originally intended to use uh, footage from this video here, the, uh, the Pinball Hall of Fame tour uh, over in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. But, um, I... In the process of making it, I got too distracted by all the pinball machines and video games. Um, a lot of it I grew up with. So, it was really hard to actually do a cast video being constantly distracted like that. So, what I thought I'd go ahead and do is just go ahead and do like a, a full-blown commentary video on just this tour. Now, I think I've, um, I've done this before, like from at least a year back, possibly longer. Um, and there's like a there's like a whole bunch of these other kind of pinball arcade tour videos. The problem with the problem is is they talk all through them. Um, so I had a hard time trying to find one that was like totally silent, where they don't where there's like no commentary, they don't say anything at all, etc. So. So yeah, um, and also I'm gonna let's see if I can explain this properly. So I'm, I'm gonna be um. Uh, Normally, when I do these kind of videos, um, I'm usually looking at my OBS program and looking at the sound mixer and all that. Um, but this time around, due to the due to the potentially constant interruptions to this to this video, you know, like if I want to stop and check out a certain table or game, um, I won't be able to do it on my OBS screen. I'm gonna have to do it on on YouTube. It, yeah, on YouTube itself. So. It just, just, just to put that out there. So, but anyway, time for the walk down memory lane. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this video did come out about a year ago. So it's a little bit on the dated side. And I'm guessing this is a like a brand new location, or they brand new at the time. Yeah, it looks like it was literally done in a warehouse. Let's see if I can read the rules. Nope, too blurry. Oh, it's starting already. There's old Dan. Um, never seen it before in real life, but it's pretty legendary though. One of the first ever fortune telling machines. Cubert's Quest? Never heard of that one. I played the video game version, though, Cubert. Played it a lot. Star Trek Next Generation? Uh, Lethal Enforcers. Name sounds familiar. Uh, Burger Time on the left. Um, it's another classic I used to play a lot back in the early 80s. And Space Invaders next to it, all-time classic right there. Um, I don't know what's next to it, though. Spy Hunter on the right, on the left. Um, on the left is Tutankhamen. That's uh, it's basically um, a 2D shoot 'em up But uh, unlike most other games, you can only shoot left and right. Like, you can't shoot in, like, four directions or anything. Um, and then the, the stern one next to it. Think. Yep, scramble. Uh, played it a lot when I was a kid. And then on the right, the pinball machine there, and pinball pool. Off pro challenge. Yeah, I think I've seen that one before. I only played it like once or twice. Galaxian, all time classic right there. Um,. Crazy Climber. Yeah, that's another one. Um, you had a early 80s game. You had to climb up a building. So. Play that a fair bit. No idea what that is. Dig Dug, an all-time classic. Played that a lot. Shoot him up game. Okay, the 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 red cabinet on the le far left that you're looking at, that's, um, I believe that is computer space. Um, I think it's the first ever 
coin operated video game. Um, it came out either in the late 60s or early 70s. So yeah, that's an all time classic right there. No idea what the one next to it is though. And we got Tetris. Tetris Tapper. I used to be able to flip the score on that one. Then we got Paperboy. Uh, played that a few times, but I suck so bad at it, which is probably why I only played it a few times. Then we got Frogger. Frogger to the right of that. Um, played it a few times back in the 80s. I sucked at it. Mousetrap. Um, uh, played it. Um, I think I played it once or twice. They actually had a news... Back in the early 80s, they actually had a newspaper article on it. They're doing a review of it. I think it was uh, one of the rare times that a newspaper would actually publish an article about a video game. They weren't really that popular back then. And then, a game that all, pretty much needs no introduction, Punch-Out!, that's an all-time classic right there. 720, another 80s classic. Um, I actually played it fairly often. I sucked at it, but I, I've actually seen a few people that uh, basically beat the game. They uh, beat all the, uh, like, beat all the parks. Um, they just, I, I, okay, I'm, I'm having trouble talking since, but just short answer, they beat the game. Uh, Donkey Kong, another all-time classic that needs an old introduction. Uh, played it. Didn't play it a whole lot. I suck at that game, too. And then uh, the one next to Donkey Kong, I think is going to be, I want to say Wacko. It was a mid to late 80s game. Um, you had a how can I put it? You had to shoot, um, you had to shoot, you didn't just have to shoot monsters, but you had to shoot them in pairs. Like, um, mo um, one type of monster would have, the top half of that monster would be one type, and then the bottom half would be of another type. But, uh, you would have to, there would all these, there would be all these mismatched monsters that you'd have to shoot. You'd have to, again, you'd have to shoot them in, um, you'd have to, well, how can I put it? It's kind of like um, active concentration. You know, you got to match the pairs. Yeah, Wacko is Wacko's like a video game version of that. I think that's what that one is. Yep, Wacko. Now, something else was well known for, too. The, uh, the cabinet being kind of built on its side instead of straight up and down. Everything was kind of off kilter. It's old baseball. I think I've seen that one time when I was a little kid. Right, now for the pinball. Um, not recognizing any of these. Yeah, not recognizing any of them. But I guess it's, it does need to be said, though. At least they got the classic tables here. Some of these tables probably came out before I was even born. So. Hope he's not going to skip the tables on the right. Jet. Okay, it looks kind of familiar. Huh? Oh, none of them are ringing a bell. Ice review? I don't recognize any of these ones. They're probably before my time, though, that's for sure. Not that one, though. Fireball. Got that on Pinball Arcade. Otherwise, I've never seen that table in real life, though. 
up, up until now. That one. No, I've never seen that one. Firepower. Um. I. No. It looks familiar. I don't know from where, though. Meow, 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 meow. You one bad cat. No, I've never, never seen that one. Um. Too blurry. Space station. Yeah, space station. Um, that's on Pinball FX3 now. Uh, the one to the right of that, who done it? Uh, got that on Pinball Arcade. Play that. I'll play that a fair amount. Eh, it's all right. Space Station. Uh, it's um, it's actually a good fit for FX3 since you can play on a time mode, and not just a standard three and out. Yeah, because otherwise there's on Space Station, there's uh, there's no. There's only out lanes on that table. There's no in lanes. So if the ball goes over, it goes out. So so like I said, um, Epics 3, you can play on a like a, a time five minute mode. Unlimited balls during that time period. So so Space Station is great for that format. So, we've done it. Um Surf and Safari. I watched a I watched a gameplay video on YouTube. Of this game, of this table, Servant Safari, um, Wipeout. I got that on Pinball Arcade. Um, it's yeah, that's all right. Um, I I've actually done pretty good on on Wipeout though from time to time. So, and then the one after that, I believe, is Game Show. Yep, Game Show. They had that at a at a bowling alley about 20 miles away from where I live. Um, I seldom go up there. Uh, for numerous reasons, but Game Show was one of the tables that's there. I have played it. Um, first impression, eh, it's all right. Starship Troopers? Let me back up a bit. Oh, and um, I'm very sorry for the con for the constant uh, uh, the play symbol. I think the pause symbol pops up. Um. The rewind back or fast forward is popping up there too. There's, there's no other way I could do it except for maybe clicking. But yeah, even that don't help. Okay, let's stop right there. I want to say that Starship Troopers. It's one of my least favorite tables. Then you got Cleopatra on the left. Never seen that one before. I don't know what the one on the right is though. Uh, torch. Roller Disco. Um, I think it's probably the very, very, very first table I ever saw. Uh, it's like a mid to late 70s table. So, yeah, um, I think, uh, I was on a field trip in elementary school. Uh, we went to a roller skating rink, but since, uh, I was more into pinball machines than I was roller skating, I was staring at that table all day. I think probably, uh, my first impressions, like, Wow, those girls have big boobies. So, so brought me there and began my love of pinball. Um, that one looks familiar. I totem. That's what it says. I think. Oh, Robo War. Yeah. Thank God for side cabinets. Anyway. Um, never seen it, never seen it in real life, but I have seen, uh, YouTube gameplay videos of this table, though. So, it, I think I want, listened to the soundtrack once. I was, I think it's a slightly, uh, a slightly above average table. But again, I've always seen a few, uh, playthroughs of this, so I don't know a whole lot on it. All right, the one that's turned off looks kind of familiar. Though I mean, the one on the left, I mean, Star Trek Next Generation, um, an okay table. No idea what that one is. It looks kind of familiar though. The one to the right of that, no idea. Um, Fireball, okay, and there's a, um, Unless I saw a duplicate table 
Um, I, I saw another fireball earlier, but chances are it might have been a fireball too. Um, I think if, if it's the one I'm thinking of, it's got some, uh, I think I've seen it back probably in the early 80s. It's kind of a, some, some bad, some bad voice recording. Like, they were trying to record explosion stuff, but for some reason they couldn't do it. Instead, they had a guy on there like, bum, pam, pow, pick it, ping, pong, like that. It is, you know, really, really bad. Like, Dragon's Lair bad. And then... Buck Rogers on the right. I think I've seen that table like once or twice. Uh, late 70s, early 80s, somewhere around there. Like I said, I I think I played it maybe once or twice. Okay. The table on the left looks familiar. I don't know where. The one on the right, never seen it before. Uh, Vegas, never seen that one. Haunted House, that's a classic right there. Um, early 80s, I uh, played, played it back then. Um, I have it on Pinball Arcade as well. So, got a little bit of history with that table. Jurassic Park on the right there, I never seen, I've heard of it. Um, the only, the only place where I ever saw it though, is right here in this very video. Oh, and um, it is on FX3. I forgot to mention that. There's like three or four different varieties of Jurassic Park. Um, all of them are just eh. Stargate. Um, played that a few times back in the early 90s. Genesis. Genesis, I'd actually love to play that table in real life. Or, failing that, I'd love to see uh, Pinball FX3 add that to their collection. Um, I've actually, it's got a pretty cool soundtrack, and uh, it's also, uh, I did watch some uh, gameplay, watch a, watch a couple of gameplay videos of that. It's a pretty cool table. Like I said, I need, I wish it, wish I had a way to play it in real life though. And then teed off, that's um, got that on Pinball Arcade, and I played that, uh, I played that back in the '90s too, like probably the early to mid '90s, somewhere around there. So. Like I've been saying about a lot of these other tables, eh. Uh, never heard of that one. Spanish Eyes, one of my all-time favorites right there. And, uh, I'd like to be able to get a close-up, but, uh, I think the one on the, the, the one on the right, eh, I believe is not a duplicate, but it's, the ta it's not turned on, so I can't, I can't get a good confirmation on it. But the one on the right is, I believe it's Granada. It's a table that was, um, they have the same exact artist that did Spanish Eyes that's there before you. It's also the same artist that did Granada. It's actually a, and Granada is actually a Zachariah table. That's another old pinball company. Um, I don't know who made Spanish Eyes, though. I can't see it being made by uh being made by Zachariah though. I cause I would think if it was, then Spanish Eyes would also be on the uh Zachariah pinball that I also have on Steam. So But like I said, the the table on the right's not lit. So I can't really tell whether or not it's Granada. So it I mean if if that's the case, then yeah, that's pretty pretty cool as hell that they have those two side by side. You get a really big history lesson here. Uh, alien poker? Okay, so where are we going next? Um, no clue, no clue, no clue. Ring the bell. Well, these tables are probably before my time. Yeah, I'm not recognizing any of these. But I've said it earlier, gotta love it though. Central Park, one of my all time favorite tables right here. Uh, second only to TX Sector, my all time favorite table. Now, let me move up a little bit. Okay. 
Um, but uh, it's probably going to be best that it's best played on pinball arcade, where you could practically nudge the table at will. Because being able to nudge the table in the right direction at the right time is pretty much mandatory for a table like this. So in real life, you probably wouldn't be able to nudge it all that much without uh, inducing a tilt. Whereas once again, on pinball arcade though, you can, uh, you can nudge it fairly often. So which again, is pretty mandatory for a table like this. So, and then the one to the right of it, Hurdy Gurdy, never heard of that one. Uh, football, never seen that one. Don't know what the, uh, the table without the, uh, backlash cover. No idea what that one is. Um. Road race, okay, that's what that says. So, but we're, looks like we're going back to unfamiliar territory here. I should almost have made a full-blown stream of this. I got a feeling I'm going to be here a while. Ow. 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 Yep, don't know any of these. Yeah. Nope. Um, oh, that's TKO. Okay. Yeah, no idea on these ones. Before my time. Uh. Grab a card? It looks familiar. I might have seen this one before, but. Here, let me back up a bit. Drop a card. Okay, there we go. Um, it's familiar. I've seen it somewhere. I can't remember where, though. Uh, the one to the left of that, though, not a clue. Kings and Queens. Uh, Grand Slam. The, the names ring a bell. I don't know where... I don't know where I've seen or heard them, though. Oh, stock car. Stock car, bank -a ball Yeah, I, I don't recognize any of these ones. Help me. Fabo. Yep, got that on Pinball Arcade. Eh. One of my, uh, one of my lesser light tables. Uh, Rapid to the, re to the left of that. Never seen that one before. No, I'm gonna take a drink of some water real quick. And again, sorry for the constant for the constant symbol popping up in the middle, the the play, the pause, the fast forward, the rewind, and all that. I there's no way that I can there's no way of me uh, being able to easily pause this. Without having that, with having those symbols pop up, and this one here, Doctor Who. I'm thinking that's what this one is. Yeah, Doctor Who. I got this one on Pinball Arcade. Um, it's it's an okay table, and it's definitely better than the uh, more the the modern day Farsight one that came out. Yeah, eh. the the audio and visuals on it are probably are a little bit better. But over gameplay overall, eh, a little below average. Yeah, good old Doctor Who. Uh, Cyclone, Pinball Arcade. Okay, let me move forward a little bit. Okay, now we're entering my area right here. Cyclone. Um, played that back in the late '80s, and it's also on Pinball Arcade. And on both versions, I suck at them. Eight Ball Deluxe. Um, that's another table. Uh, probably back in the. First played it back in the early to mid 80s. Early to mid 80s, and just like Cyclone, it too is on Pinball Arcade. 
Um, so, played them both. And um, now on the pinball arcade version where you can nudge the table seemingly at will, I have an easier time on that table, and I have done pretty good on it. Uh, the real life version, as you'd probably expect, I suck ass. So. And the one to the left of that, um, Car Hop, it's the pink table. I'll move a little closer. Yeah, Car Hop, never seen it before, but I have seen a few YouTube videos on it. It's got the ever annoying, shoot the ball bag, like every 10 seconds. That got annoying, even though she does have a pretty hot voice, though. Um, the one to the left of that, I don't know. Ready, aim, fire. Never heard of it. I did hear a familiar sound, though. That's the classic late 70s valley table sound, I think. The kind of organ-sounding synthesizer thingy. That's a genie. Yeah, I recognize that. Recognize the sound effect. Yeah, that's genie. Genie's coming up. As the old Hubert. Never seen these before. Um, they don't ring a bell. Um, the one with the blue, the blue blanket on. I think it's a Nero Racer. If that's the case, then yeah. Um, late '80s. It's a, you're you're on a motorcycle. You gotta like, it, you know, it's a race. As it, as is obvious. You know, you gotta. It's the the handlebars. You pull back on them. And you'll you'll do a wheelie, which you need to do, in order to leap over uh, in order to leap over over obstacles and stuff. Okay, I gotta. Okay. Yeah, this is bad. So a red line is starting to appear. So. So it looks looks less awkward. What I'm gonna go ahead and do. Is I'm gonna go ahead and crop it out. Okay. Yeah. So the whole bottom part's gonna get cut out, and it, the the video is gonna have this have more of a stretchy look. But yeah, I just I, the red line's gotta go. So. Okay. Back to the tour. Big Bat, never heard of it. No idea. On, um, the one on the right looks familiar. No clue on these next two, though. And uh, Genie should be around here somewhere, too. And I think we're going to be heading into my territory. Oh, maybe not. Hydro Thunder, yeah, I've seen that a fair amount. Only played it once or twice, though. Not big on racing games. You might want to move. Okay, never mind. I'm trying to get out of this way. What is that king pen on the left? King of Diamonds on the right, I think. Clown in the middle, obviously. Huh? Never seen these before. Ding, 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 ding. Centigrade 3. That's, um... That's on Pinball Arcade. Otherwise, i never seen it before in person, so... Hey, Tona! Okay, now, the modern tables, the one with the TV screens in the back of them, I don't care for those. They're just, they're, they're too distracting. Not that I've actually played one, but uh, it just, I think the apex of technology is just going to be the, uh, just the DMD screens where it's just black and orange. So, you got some video back there, but not so much that there's, that there's a whole, there's a lot of stuff to take in. Like I said, it just with Bat with Batman, it just, there's so much I have to watch, so much you know, video and animation, etc., that I have to look at, I have to process. It's too distracting. It distracts me from playing the actual table. 
I mean, I'm there to play pinball, not watch TV. So, but on the other hand, too, yeah, I do like a little bit of video back there. So, the apex of all that, like I just said, is going to be the DMD screens, the black and orange ones. So, there's some video and animation to look at, but it's not in such gross detail that I have to really, really watch it and process all of it, so... And Metallica, these the uh, the modern the modern rock music tables. I don't really care for them. I mean, they're not they're not terrible. It's just the music I've pretty much been forced to listen to in some form or another for many years. So I could really I could definitely do without listening to them again. And then um, let's see, we got Getaway. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen it in real life, but I have it on Pinball Arcade and FX3. So, played them off of both of them. Uh, Spider-Man, Iron Man. Family Guy. That's on FX3. Never seen it in real life, though. And then here come the Monsters. Once again, I don't care for those tables. Too much niggling detail in them. Terminator 2 played it, sucked at it, and he just walked by an all-time classic. Medieval Madness. Indiana Jones, uh, 90s table, played it. Star Wars, once again. Creature from the Black Lagoon, played it. I'm... Yeah, I'll... So we got The Hobbit, or no. Lord of the Rings, it also has, uh, I think, one of the most difficult modes ever. To complete, um, every because you're. Is that Lord of the Rings? Looks like it says Game of Thrones. I can't really tell. Yeah, I think it's Game of Thrones. Yeah, never seen that one. Star Trek got that on Pinball Arcade. Cactus Canyon, got that on Pinball Arcade. Whoa, Nelly, big juicy melons. They're one of the. It's pretty much my favorite stern table. Or it's, at least as far as the modern day goes. It's like a giving a nod to the old classic tables. Awesome powers. Do not care for that franchise. And it looks like this is the I don't give a shit lane. Well, Wheel of Fortune. Um, uh, seen that once. Okay, Medieval Madness, all-time classic. Terminator 2. Played it a bit. We yeah, have Medieval Madness. Played the crap out of that back in the late 90s. Early 2000s. Um, this one coming up. I... Mustang, yep. Um, never seen it before in real life, but I do have it on Pinball Arcade. It's definitely one of the better stern tables. Foosball. We got air hockey. Duncan Alien. Ah, it's foosball hockey. Black Knight 2000. Got that on Pinball Arcade, and I have seen that. I think I might have played it too back in the back in the late eighties. Twilight Zone, the appeal of that table is lost on me. Twilight Zone, that's the one the uh, the couple's playing on. Yeah, consider one of the all-time greats. But again, like I said, the appeal is lost on me. Then we got Revenge from Mars. Uh, played it. That's a pretty good table. And the one to the right of that, I believe, is Attack from Mars. Um, that's on Pinball Arcade. And FX3. I don't... I've probably seen one or both. Here, let me back up a bit. And, um... I've seen one or both of them. Like, back in the 90s somewhere. I don't remember which one or both. Demolition Man played that back in the 90s. Black Hole. Um... Played it back in the eight. Played it a little bit back in the eighties, not very much. 
Ah, uh, but it is on Pinball Arcade, and uh, one of my regulars named Aptitude, this is his favorite table. So... Probably gonna be before my time. One more for Wizard. Yeah, this one here, uh, Cue Ball Wizard, Pinball Arcade. Um, it's an okay table. Spooder Man. Jokers. I think I've seen a gameplay video or two of Jokers. I think. I can't remember. Space Shuttle. Um, played it back in the 80s. Not a fan. Or when I first got a when I first got a PS4, I had a game. It was like Williams Pinball Classics or something like that. I actually kicked some pretty good ass on that table. But when I when I got Pinball Arcade for Steam, like on PC, I I suck. I mean, I suck ass on Space Shuttle on that version. So yeah, but I have played the table back in the eighties. Scared the crap out of me there for a moment. So, and then, um, No Fear. Uh, No Fear. I think I've seen it maybe one time back in the, back in the 90s. Got it on Pinball Arcade. It's a, eh, it's an okay table. Indy 500. Um, never seen it in real life, but it, but like No Fear, it is on Pinball Arcade. It's an okay table. Time Machine. Um, name sounds familiar. Wonder where I saw it. Uh, soccer, no clue. Fishtails. Uh, that's on Pinball FX3 and Pinball Arcade. Um, never seen it in real life before, though. But it's like a lot of other tables I'm mentioning. They're eh, it's okay. Rabbit season open. No idea on this one. Move up, move up a little bit. Yeah. Doesn't ring a bell. Captain Fantastic. That's at the uh, that's at that's at the bowling alley. That's by where I live. Um, I have played it a few times. It was actually one of the um, one of the more tolerable tables that they uh, that they had there. It only cost a quarter. Um, that and uh, the Ted Nugent table. I think they're the only two tables there that only cost a quarter. Everything, all the other tables there cost at least fifty cents. They have a they have a monster bash there that costs like um, I think it costs like two dollars in quarters. So yeah, big ripoff. I get that machines are expensive to maintain, but still. And then Wizard, um, that never seen the table before. But yeah, it. It's one of the um, it's one of those tables. I wish you can get it. I wish you can get an up close look at the back glass. But it's it's a shiny example of uh, the pinball is sexist stigma that the uh, the pinball industry had. I mean the earlier roller disco. That table, the, the first one, the the first table I ever saw. Think about uh. Roller Disco kind of falls in the sexism category, too. Which, personally, I think is a bunch of bullshit because there's women out there that actually think uh, other women are attractive. So it isn't just a purely guy thing. I mean, sometimes even other women think other women are hot. High score pool. Um, ever seen that one? Funhouse, all-time classic. Played it a fair amount. Um, or played it in real life. Apollo 13. Got a really bad multi-ball on Apollo. Literally, there's thir there's literally 13 ball multi-ball. Yeah, that is way too many. Um, I don't know what the table to the left is though. Oh, Shaq pinball, never seen it. If it's anything like Shaq Fu, it's gonna suck. Um, let me back up a bit. Oh, Johnny Mnemonic, okay. 
rest of these. They're not familiar. Triple X. I wonder if that's like X's and O's. Otherwise, the rest of these aren't ringing a bell. Street Fighter. Um, I actually, I actually played this table. I think it was in the. I want to say the late '80s, early '90s. I only played it like once or twice, though. So. That's another table I wish uh, Pinball FX3 or Pinball Arcade would pick up on. Scared stiff. Played the crap out of that table back in the '90s, and it is on Pinball Arcade as well. And then NBA Fast Break. Um, I might have played it once, like in the 90s somewhere. Probably around the same time that I was playing uh, Elvira Scared Stiff. Adam's Family. The appeal, just like uh, Twilight Zone, the appeal of that table is lost on me. I think it's the, the, uh, the biggest selling table of all time. But like I said, I don't get the appeal. Uh, Star Wars. Never seen it. Never seen it before. I I heard that I heard about the table existing, but that's that's about the extent of it. Elvira and the Party Monsters got that on Pinball Arcade. There's another Star Wars. Kiss, um, classic table right there. Um, in fact. The uh, antique shop up the street from where I live. I think they were selling this at one point. I wonder if anybody bought it. And then Diner. Never seen it before in real life, but I do have it on Pinball Arcade. It's a eh, okay table. Um, 007 on the right. Never seen it before. But being that I'm not a very big James Bond fan, I probably wouldn't be into it much. Uh, Royal Rumble. Um... Uh, Heard of it, never seen it, or never seen it in real life, though. Creature from the Black Lagoon, uh, Pinball Arcades, Space Jam with Michael Jordan. Uh, I think I might have played it once or twice, probably in the 90s somewhere. Last Action Hero, never seen it in real life, but it is on Pinball Arcade. And let's go down over to Black Knight, all-time classic right here. Um, I played it back in the 80s. Um, I got it on Pinball Arcade, and um, Black Knight is also another table that's at the bowling alley by where I live. And um, and I played it, played it a few times there. So, but yeah, definitely a classic right here. Ha ha ha! No idea. Circus Voltaire. Um, pinball Arcade. I think I've seen the table one time in real life. Probably like... Post Adventure, I guess. Late 90s, early 2000s. Somewhere around there. Saw it one time. Um, the one, yeah, Playboy. Uh, let's scoot up a little bit. I think there was a. There must have been different versions of this. There are. Um, I think there was like a like a '60s or '70s version. It looks like this one here is probably an '80s one. I thought there was only like one version of it. Apparently not. And then um, there, there, then on the left, uh, not Red and Ted's. I, I'm I'm trying to stop myself from saying Bill and Ted's Roadshow. Like, one of them's a tranny. Like, no, no, it's Red and Ted's Roadshow. So, yeah, um, I think I've seen it. I've seen it and played it once or twice um, in real life. And then, um, I, and it is on Pinball Arcade and FX3. Played them on them as well. And here's the, here's the sound effect. Genie. Uh, played, played this back in, back in probably the early to mid-80s. Uh, 
and it is on Pinball Arcade. But yeah, the if you remember earlier when I said the the classic the the roll that classic sound, this is the table I was talking about. It has that that it's like the late seventies organ synthesizer sound that, that a lot of these tables had. Uh, Killigan's Island. Idea. It's polka time! It's Cactus Jacks right here. Uh, never seen it in real life, but played it on a pinball arcade. Cool music if you're into polka. Cool music if you like polka. Uh, Comet. No, this is... Uh, the one I played was Cyclone. Cyclone and Hurricane. This is the first one of the uh, Carnival Trilogy, Comet. Never seen it before, though. Then Indiana Jones, one of them on the left, uh, played it in the 90s. And it's also on Pinball FX3 as well. Fire. Um, late 80s, or mid to late 80s right here. This is another table that uh, I think it'd be kind of cool if, uh, if like Pinball FX3 picked up on it. It's a pretty fun table. And the um, the two ramps on there, they're a real bitch to hit because uh, they're so steep. And then Arabian Nights, it comes with Pinball Arcade as the first table you get. I think I've seen it maybe once or twice, probably back in the 90s somewhere. Poker Tour, Superman, never heard of him. Champion Pub, Pinball Arcade, never seen it in real life, though. I remember that. Um, I don't remember exactly what you did, but you you pop in some quarters. Uh, you, you inputted what kind of toy you wanted, and, and it would make the plastic big. It would make the uh, plastic action figure right there for you, right there in front of your very eyes. I remember those. Super, Mar Super Mario. Holy macaroni! Uh, then we got Save Cracker. I've never seen it in real life. But it's on FX3 and Arcade, and I am no fan of that table. smash so yeah big hurt that's on um pinball arcade never seen it in real life though this one here i i will better know it. yep going nuts this is a uh this is a gem i'm it's not a it's not a it's kind of a below average table gameplay wise it's on pinball arcade but it's a very rare table so yeah they they scooped up a real gem here uh, i i want to say there was only 60 made if I was to toss a number out there, but yeah, it is super rare So yeah, they got lucky and found this they got lucky when they found this one uh, South Park if it's the one I'm thinking of um, Yeah, yeah Played it back in the late 90s Pinbot all-time classic played it in real life during the 80s uh, It's on pinball arcade as well So yeah, I I'm pretty I mean, this table here, it's all about the left ramp. If you can keep hitting that left ramp consistently, you'll do good. Um, a later table, Bride of Pinbot, same way. It's all about the left ramp. Guns and Roses, not a fan. There it is, Bride of Pinbot. And um, the bowling alley by where I live, Bride of Pinbot is also there. And I think... Um, and one of the problems I had with the bowling alley... Is some of these, these some of these tables are poorly maintained. I think it was this one, and there it also had a funhouse table. Like they uh, need to be leveled or something, because the ball would uh, the ball would just pull to the right on both of those tables. So yeah, party zone, party zone. That's um, never seen it in real life, but it is on pinball arcade and FX3. Um, playing them on both, and it's um. It's actually uh, one in a, 
It's one of my faves. I know um, one of my regulars, Kitaro87, he likes his table too. So from a from a fun standpoint, it's definitely a, definitely one of my faves. Um, upcoming table, Dr. Dude. Dr. Dude on the right there, one of my all-time favorite tables right there. The, the Dr. Dude demeanor that he has, it doesn't sit well with a lot of people. So I think the appeal of the table is very hit or miss, but it's definitely hit with me. And I like the uh, the comic, the uh, kind of comic book theme, the comic book style of the table. But again, that's one of those that's hit or miss. Either you like it or you hate it. And I definitely like it. Okay, Paperboy played that back in the 80s. I think he's uh, he's treading on familiar ground here. I think that was Frogger. No, that's Simpsons. Yeah, it's an old beat em up. He used to play that a fair bit. So he's just checking out vending machines. Gauntlet Legends? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Gauntlet Legends. I totally forgot it was an actually in, in an, an arcade game. I have it on I had it on my PS2, but I had totally forgot that there was an arcade version of it. Yeah, I played it back in the late nineties. And it Oh that's an old that's a Yeah, Dragon's Lair, that's an old classic right there. Freaking early eighties, yeah, I used to play that a lot. Um back when I was uh probably when I was uh, my early teens. I had the strategy guide on it. Um, I knew all the moves. Um, never could. Uh, I never could um, slay the dragon and get the girl, though. I actually, um, I actually helped. Now that I think about it, I did help out somebody else beating the dragon or beating the game. I don't. Yeah, I don't think I had the strategy guide with me. I had all the moves memorized. And like I said, I was. Coaching him, helping him along, but he eventually, he uh, won the game. He slayed the dragon, and later on, he was going to boink the princess. So, Star Trek Voyager? Uh, never seen that one. Uh, Ninja Turtles, another beat-em-up. Played it a fair bit. Eh, I'll, it was just the kind of game I would play to pass the time. So it wasn't into it much. Off-road. Um, in the 90s, in the uh, grocery store I used to work in, they had this game there, and at the time, it was an it was a, the place would close at 11. It was an after we worked there after hours. We were night stalkers, but yeah, they would have this game running uh, during our lunch breaks and our breaks and stuff. We'd play the hell out of this. We sunk we sunk in a lot of quarters, and uh, this is one of those games where you could um you could upgrade your vehicle, you can buy upgrades and stuff. You can keep sinking quarters in there and stuff like that. You get more credits. That's what we did. We just sink out a whole bunch of quarters to get our all of our vehicles fully upgraded and just go from there. So, yeah. Fun times with that game. Asteroids! All-time classic right there. But, yeah. Played it back in the... Probably the late 70s, early 80s. And then, like now, I suck at it. Yeah, Super Mario Bros. All-time classic. Star Wars, uh, early to mid '80s. Played it a lot, um, and uh, I actually have watched people kick ass on Star Wars too. They get, you know, they get really far and stuff. It, it gets to a point where you're spending more time shooting, uh, shooting the missiles that the ships shoot at you, than you are actually shooting at the ships themselves. And then Centipede, another all-time classic, right there. Uh, played it a lot, and. Like just like Super Mario Bros. and Star Wars, I suck at it. Miss Pac-Man, all-time classic. Ultra Arcade, never heard of it. Space Invaders, no, another all-time classic. And another Miss Pac-Man. Waterworld, heard the name, never seen it before. Flintstone, same thing. No clue. Bonsai! Oh god, it hurt my throat. But yeah, um, I got it on Pinball Arcade. Never seen it before in real life, though. And then white water to the left there. Uh, same thing. Never seen it in real life. But it's on both Pinball Arcade and Pinball FX3. Played them on both. 
The arc the pinball arcade version is way better than the FX3 one. FX3 is ass. Ah, uh, strikes. Never seen. Yeah, never seen that one. Never seen these two tables. Space mission and these, these ones here are before my time. Super Mario Bros. Uh, same thing. Holy macaroni! But yeah, um, in case I didn't say it earlier, I uh, played this one a couple times. Uh, probably, I want to say late 80s, early 90s. There are pinball machines ready to be assembled. All packed up and ready to go. Either they've been shipped in or they're about to be shipped out. And I think that's going to conclude it. Alrighty, so nice little walk down memory lane, <laughs> about an hour long. So, but yeah, um, just just like it says. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that. Like I said, this is just a little trip down memory lane. So, and but they can keep the like, share, and subscribe shit. I'm, they've been forcing that shit down my throat ever since I got into YouTube. So, yeah, so they can keep that crap. Otherwise, once again, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.